Did anyone else have absolutely no plans on going to Primark and then you went on TikTok and saw all the staff posting stuff and you were like, oh my god, I need it? Because same. It's weird, I wouldn't say I'm like a huge Primark fan. I'd probably say like 5-10% of my wardrobe is Primark, but the bits I've found are like such good bargains that I love. And I picked up three of these bags. This might sound so dramatic, but my shoulders and my arms ache because I was like supermarket sweep, but with Primark stuff. The queue was huge. But it took like 25 minutes. I was on a mission to get these things I saw on TikTok to the point where if I saw it in someone's basket, I'd be like, oh, excuse me, where, where did you get that? We'll start with what I'm wearing, and it is this little cute gingham top. I never would have picked this up if it wasn't for TikTok. And now I'm so glad I did, because I would have just assumed, oh, this won't suit me, I won't feel comfortable. But I actually love it. It's got these little sleeves, which, I don't know, do you wear it here? Do you wear it here? I'm not sure, I'm no fashion guru, but I love it. I haven't got a bra on. If I can get away with not wearing a bra, I ain't wearing one. It's actually part of a co-ord set, so these are the little shorts with the little frills at the bottom. I don't hate it on me, but I don't love it either, and I just know that I won't wear it together. So I did think I was going to have to take the top back as well, because I thought there's no way I'm going to like myself in this with jeans. But then I put it on with these little denim shorts, and I actually love it. So I am going to be keeping the top, and it also comes in a black, like this whole set. So I kind of want the black top as well. The top is £8, so are the shorts. Bargain bloody shopping. If you're wondering, I got myself a size 12. I'm normally a 10 or a 12. Also, I'm a five foot three gal. Next, I got this sweater jumper. I bought it in a large. It's a really nice color. It's like a minty, you can see the color. We're not doing this, but it's blue. Um, <laughs> it is a large and it was 10 pounds. Did I say that? I feel like I repeat myself. God, I'm crap at clothing holes. Anyway, it's just really cozy. Lockdown or no lockdown, me and cozy clothes, we're never, we're never leaving each other. They also did this in a really light grey that said Texas on with different like colours on there. I think there's like baby blue and I really liked it and I do regret not getting that one. So when I return the bits that I didn't like out of this shop, I'm going to try and get it. This is another thing I saw on TikTok that I thought I nearly didn't get until I was at the till and I saw this lady who worked there putting it on a rail. I'd already spotted the size and I was like, um, excuse me, can I have that? <laughs> and it is this blue tracksuit. I said I wasn't done with loungewear and I'm not. The thing I love about it is the joggers have this seam down it. I don't know what it is. If I see a jogger with a seam down it, I'm like, yep, yeah, I love it. I just love this blue colour. The joggers are in a small. They have got like a tie inside, so if you did need to tighten the waist, you could. They come up just to my belly button. I would like them to be a little bit higher, but... I still like where they sit. So on me, they're like a mid-rise, but then I think I've got a longer torso. The zip hoodie is cropped, so I would have got this in a large if I had a choice, but obviously I didn't. And I got it in a small, which still fits fine. It's a 10 to 12. It's got like this drawstring, so you can pull it tight, we can have it loose. I quite like having it just done up. They were both £10 each, and I'm not going to go on about how much of a bargain it is, because it's Primark, everything's a bargain. We know that. And then I got the exact same thing in the light grey colour. I got these in a small, the joggers. But in this top, I picked a large. I absolutely love the fit of these tracksuits. If there was more colours, I probably would have bought them. Oh, I kind of did buy them. <laughs> so I also got these two joggers, again, with the seam down them. But these are slightly different to the other two because they're a bit smarter. The bottoms don't have the... Like this, they don't have that bit, they're just sort of straight. So although they're joggers, they just look a bit smarter. And they do feel a bit more, I don't know, just a bit different. Not so joggery, more smarter. I'm not actually sure if these came in sets or not. But I got the black and this colour is, I don't know if you can really pick it up on screen. But it's a really nice colour, I don't know how to describe it, so I'm not going to try. Also as well, come up more high-waisted than the other ones. So I think I prefer the fit of these. And these are both a size small. Next I got these little brown shorts. I wasn't sure on the colour, but actually once I put it on as an outfit, I was like, no, I actually love them so much. Ideally, I don't know what colour I'd make them, but maybe something a bit brighter, I'm not sure. But this colour is actually really nice, and I think maybe it suits me. What do you think, Dallins? Not gonna lie, I picked them up because they look so comfortable, but they're still smart. After basically wearing comfy clothes for a whole year, wearing anything tight feels like a form of torture. I got these in a size 10, and they were £10. Then I got these two shorts that kind of look smart-ish but casual you might be thinking hun they don't look smart at all but you know what i mean like they're not like a jogger short they're not a denim i don't know 
I just really like this colour. It's like that. It's kind of like this green. And it's got pockets. There's pockets. Who doesn't love a pocket? But I feel like I could wear this with a little white shirt and it would look smart. Or I could wear this with a t-shirt and it could look more casual. It's very versatile, you know? And I love anything like that. If I could dress it up and dress it down, I want you. So I got these. Guess how much? Guess. Go on. Guess. Four pounds. Four pounds. Like, what a bargain. So I got them in this, um, I don't know what colour. You can see the colour. And I love them. I did actually get a black pair, but I got them in a size 10, and do you know what? I've come to terms with sizes, right? These are both in a 12, and although the 10 fit me, they don't look as nice. I don't know what it is. Back in the day, I wouldn't have even picked up a 12. So if you're funny about sizes, I think in Primark, most of the time you have to size up anyway. I don't know if that makes sense, but sometimes the size up does just look better and it doesn't mean like oh my god i've got a size up Ugh. that's what i used to think that's my uh, motivational speech about sizing over just buy the size that fits nicely the size that looks better doesn't matter forget it just pretend it's whatever size you want it doesn't matter it's just it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just a number we don't care all right say it with me we don't care why am i like this shut up I am going to be telling you as well what I'm keeping and not keeping because realistically I spent over £300 but I'm not keeping £300 worth. In fact, I'm keeping way more than I thought but I will be letting you know because that's the one thing I don't like about hauls and why I don't really do loads is because I don't want to be like, I spent £400 on a pretty little thing and then ASOS and then this and then this. Like that's normal when it's really not. Are my nipples showing? Sorry, I just got really distracted by the fact that I feel like it could be a bit nippy in here. <laughs> It only counts if you saw a nipple. I also picked up these little leather look shorts. They're really, really, really nice, but they don't fit me. So this is my point. I got these in a 10. This is a Primark size 10, but I've also got other shorts that are Primark size 10 that fit me. So sizing's irrelevant. Who actually cares? I'm trying not to care. I don't care. Anyway, but I thought I'd show you these because they're so nice. I would show you them done up. But they looked like they were about to like burst open and I'd rip them all. I do actually want to return them. So I won't be doing that. I might see if size 12 look nice on me. If not, then I just wanted to show you them because someone needs to wear these on my behalf, please. And these are £10. Whilst we're talking about shorts, I thought I'd show you these ones. They're little smart white shorts. I love them, but guess what? They don't fit me in a 10 or a 12. And this is my point. I, they're just not the shorts for me. They just don't fit me. I'm not going to bother going up another size. They quite clearly just are not made for my body. And it is what it is. But they're very nice. I think they're slightly see-through. Imagine these with a white blazer as well. Cute. Look who got their hands on the cohorts. Oh my god, I thought I wasn't going to get them. I was like, oh. And then I saw them in someone's basket. And I was like, where did you get them? I need to go and get them a set proky. So I did. I ran down there like... <laughs> no, I literally had the heaviest basket ever. I was like, <laughs> and if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, it's these like little seamless sets which look like child size, but honestly, they're like the stretchiest thing ever. So they do little tops, little matching bottoms, and I love them. This is something last year I'd be like, nah, they don't sue me, wouldn't like it. I never used to think I could wear cycling shorts because I've got little legs. But who says I can't wear them? They're so comfortable. Um, I don't know if they're like gym wear or what. I would never be able to work out in this top because, ow. They're ribbed. And they do do other styles. They did like a little sleeve tight top. I do not suit little tight sleeves. I look like I'm going to knock you out. <laughs> I literally look like I'm going to square up to you. Like, Ugh, fight me. Fight you for a fiver. Um, <laughs> I've got the pink, the yellow... Um, the yellow is slightly see-through. I did try them on with black bottoms. These are seven pounds, these sets. Three fifty, three fifty. Does that seven pounds? Yeah. I thought then imagine it. Three fifty, three fifty, that's seven pounds, and you're there like hard less than seven pounds. But it is. Anyway, <laughs> I also picked up the black. And then sadly, I only was able to get my hands on the bottoms of the blue. They literally look like toddlers. I swear they stretch a lot. So I do want to try and get my hands on the top. I got all of these in kind of whatever size I could get my hands on, but I mainly got the bottoms in a small and the tops I just went for a medium because I was worried that they would like 
you know when they're really tight here or like squash your boobs and stuff i have absolutely no clue how i'm gonna wear them it might just be to lounge around the house i might work out in them i might just go for a walk in them i don't know but for seven pound a set you can't really go wrong and i just know i'll get wear out of them it literally just feels like you're wearing like an extra skin but like a colourful one. I also picked up this little suit set. It is really nice, but I'm not going to be keeping it. And that is because, I don't know if you can see there, my orange blazer. That is also a suit set from Primark. And it's the best quality suit set. I stop saying suit set. Suit. Come on, whatever. It's the best quality one I've ever seen in there. And I've never seen anything like it since. I don't know if they lined it by accident. But honestly, the quality I've never seen in Primark before. It doesn't even look like Primark. To be honest, if I said it was Topshop or it was River Island or anywhere else, you'd be like, oh yeah. And because of that, I feel like this just seems crap quality. Mainly the blazer, to be honest. So the trousers are actually really nice. I would keep these if I could imagine myself wearing it as an outfit. But there's other stuff I'd go for over this. So it's mainly the blazer that I've got the problem with. I've got beef with you. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know, it just looks... It looks cheap, like we want it to be cheap, but do we really want it to look cheap? Now, don't get me wrong, it looks really nice on, and if someone was wearing it out, I wouldn't feel like, ugh, look at your cheap suit. But, knowing that I, I've got another one nicer, I know I just wouldn't go for it. The inside bit here around your arm, I found this really itchy. And the moment I feel itchy, I can't unfeel it. And this is my other Primark one, like lined... It's heavier. This is just set the bar now and I can't go below it. So I wanted to show you this anyway, but I just wanted to be honest about what I really think about the quality because sometimes I watch Primark hauls and I'm like, wow. And then I go there and I'm like, ugh, in person it just looks crap. But yeah, it's still nice. And like I said, the bottoms are really nice. Like I actually really love the bottoms. But anyway, after slagging it off for the last 30 seconds, <laughs> I got the blazer in a size 14 because I know Primark now and I just always have to size up. The bottoms I got in a 12, the bottoms were 13 and the top was 15. Okay, do you know what? Trying it on again, it is actually really nice. I know I slated the blazer a bit, like it could be better quality, but it actually looks really nice. Like imagine some black heels. I actually think it looks really nice and this is with that like gym top the only thing i will stand by is this bit is really itchy and i can't like I'm, i want to scratch my shoulders off right now so if you can deal with itching or maybe it's just a fault with this one i don't know it is actually very nice i also picked up these jogger shorts i literally live in these in the summer just in the garden sunbathing i like these because they're quite like a thin material i did buy some really nice ones i can't remember where from and they were thicker, which made them feel, I can't explain it, it just felt weird when my legs were closed. Like there was too much material between my legs. I got these in a size small and they were £6. And they kind of to wear with it, I got this little crop top. I got these in a number of colours because last year I picked up a black one and they're sold as pyjama tops. But I actually think they make really nice crop tops. They're ribbed, they've got adjustable straps. They're also like double lines, so a bit of support on your boobs. And why did I say it like that? Boobs. I got the pink, I got the white, and I even got the khaki. I think I bought every colour that they do. Actually, no, there was a pale pink. I'm surprised I didn't pick that up, to be honest. The grey one actually looks really nice with those grey shorts I just showed you. It's like a little set. As you know, if you watch my other videos, I love a play suit. So I feel like sets kind of resemble play suits in a weird way. So I also picked up these pyjama shorts, which they are pyjama shorts. And I feel like you couldn't wear them as anything other. Whereas those tops, I would wear them out and about. These I would wear in the garden, like I said. I love little shorts like this with tops like that to sunbathe in, to sit around and lounge around in the summer. Like the ribbed material and the little scalloped edge is really nice. For an absolute bargain, these are what, three pounds? And so another thing that I'm not keeping but is really nice, just doesn't look nice on me, and that is this play suit. It is so cute, it's like linen, it's got these nice little buttons, shorts just turn up at the end. I think if this suits you, it will look so nice, but it just doesn't suit me at all. I got a 12, I even got a 14, but none of the sizes look good. Another thing that's worth mentioning, but looks absolutely horrendous on me, is this little swimming costume. I got this in multiple sizes. Looks awful. To be honest, I'm more of a bikini girl anyway, so... 
screw you. It is £12. So got this little underwear set. Again, it's the rib material. I got these last year in a black and in like a yellow colour. These are just so comfortable. It's like wearing a bra but not really wearing a bra. It comes with like a thong brief. I got it in a medium and they're £5. I also picked up the lacy version but unfortunately I got the white and black and didn't think it through that you can't return them. So oh, they're just not a great fit. I think they come up a bit small, so one of my little sisters is going to have these. And then again, with how weird sizing is, this is basically the rib set again, but it's got like a bar dough instead of the triangles. Again, size medium, but this is the smallest thing ever. It, get these, I would size up, but the only problem is that means you're sizing up in the bottoms. So I'm going to again have to give these to my little sister because this is just tiny. It might stretch over time, but... Ain't nobody got time for that. It's not very often I find accessories in Primark that I like. But I found this little scarf thingy that it says it's for like the side of your bag or your hair. Um, and I just was really drawn to the colours. Not usually colours I'd go for but I just really liked it for some reason. And I love this sort of pleating material. I got a scarf from Primark before. Like a proper big scarf. And I love it. I've never successfully put one of these in my hair before. Do you know what they do it? It looks really cute. And I think curly hair looks the best in these. Anyone has curly hair, help a hun out. I did get some other little pyjama bits that I'm not keeping. I'm not really a fan of. But I feel like this haul is going on for a lifetime. So I don't want to bore you. If you're still here, hello. Comment below. I'm still here. Not I'm still here. I'm still here. These little shorts. Cute, but... I should have got them in a medium. These pyjama bottoms, awful. And I got this little, like, shirt, pyjama thingy. Itchy, horrible material. It's it's actually in sale, half price. No wonder why. Awful. Picked up these hangers for my little sister. These were the ones I was talking about in my decluttering video. I finally made it to the end. That is the best Primark shop I've literally ever done in my life. I've spent more in Primark on this shop than I probably did in the whole of 2020 and 2019 combined. I'm on a little bit of a wardrobe mission at the moment, so I hope you don't mind coming along for that mission. I have got a H&M haul coming up, and I did get a few bits from ASOS, so I'll probably just show that in a vlog or something. But anyway, I'm starving. My neighbours won't shut up arguing. Um, great. Thanks for watching. Like subscribe i'm internally screaming right now because i can still hear her screaming i hope you can't goodbye <laughs> help me